We're back and it's another one club man and we have gone to sunny Spain as requested by many of you in the comments to the previous one club man series that we're doing as we're journeying around Europe. Will we venture outside Europe? Possibly. We're making our way through different nations and in today's one, it's 30 years, it's the perfect player, he's locked at the club, he's in Spain, that's all there is to say. Let's jump in. Alejandro Jimenez. ex Jimenez. Jimenez. I don't know. Throwback to the old Pro Evolution Soccer Master League team. If you know, you know. If you don't know, then you don't know. But if you do, let me know in the comments down below if you were a Pez man or a Pez boy back in the day. Because it was better than FIFA many moons ago. Pez 6, John Terry and Adriano on the front, bite me. I mean, we've already gone off piste. We're less than a minute in and we're talking about Pez over FIFA. FIFA's better nowadays. It's not even FIFA anymore, is it? EFC 24. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome along if you're new. If you're new and you're still here, that's the kind of thing that we do. We go off piste. Yeah. The perfect player, Alejandro Jimenez. He's in Spain. Now, he's in, he's at Marbella now. For those of you who've been here before, you know I don't go through forward and I don't look at the results. However, full disclosure, I have had to have a little check on Spain because this is the third time I've had to simulate this because of the minimum wage requirement for a player in Spain like it's not a max wage it's a minimum wage so that means that Alejandro when he got to La Liga wasn't playing because he was on like a thousand pounds a week I put him on a thousand pounds a week he's on 625 pounds a week so they've shafted me for the contract straight away but we've got a yearly wage rise of 15 percent a 50 percent promotion wage rise don't know why the minimum free release clause is there that's been inserted in an extra 25 percent promotion wage rise would go into the top division we've had to do this because unfortunately as he get as he got promoted through the leagues like Marbella just got stuck in uh the second tier and like third tier at the end of the first couple of experiments because he wasn't getting the right wage they do make it to La Liga. Spoiler, they do make it to La Liga. It, there's a little bit of an iffy bit around the middle somewhere, but it does even itself out. Now, I don't know if they win La Liga. I don't know if they win any trophies. So that is still spoiler free for myself. So my reaction will be genuine. Of course, you expect them to get to La Liga, but I have got to just caveat that I have had to check forward for once because there's a little bit of a grey area in the middle. But we will come to that as we progress through the experiment. So Alejandro Jimenez is playing for Marbella, who are in the Spanish Federation second group four. And and the media, well, they think they're going to go up. Is there any wonder why? They've got half the bloody media Dream 11. No, they haven't. They've got two players, Di Vicente and Jimenez. And of course, Jimenez is going to be the best player in the league by a country mile. And he's probably going to get all the awards. So without further ado, on we move to 2024 and see how much Jimenez bosses it in the Spanish Federation Second Group 4 division of Spain. What a mouthful that was. Right, they're in the Spanish Federation 1B. He got 28 and 25, 15 and 6, 13 player of the matches, a 7.94 overall. And of course, as you can see here, he's only in three iterations of this division must be a new system i don't know we're not going to dive into the nitty-gritty of spain but 18 points they won it by can you believe it well better believe it because they have done and look at that 15 was second place florian tula messe he was 38 years old living it up in spain and ruben messe the 32 year old both with 15 28 for alejandro jimenez he has been absolutely unbelievable for them they are actually in spanish federation first division b now which is ibiza are holders so the back Battle of the um, Holiday Destinations. Season preview, 6th Marbella are expected to finish. Who are expected to go up? Well, it's Albacete because they've got half the media Dream 11. As, well, Albacete and... A couple are at Real Madrid B. Yeah, not even expected to go up top in the second season. They expect they're going to go up in... Well, they expect they're going to finish sixth. They'll probably do a little bit better than that. That's the finances, of course. Uh, 1.43 million in the hole, as you can see. And Jimenez is already the captain, as you can see. £725 a week. He has had a little bit of a boost to his wages. Promotion wage rise of 50%. I don't think he's had that because he's on £625 a week. This is all ready to cock. This is already all over the place. So, yeah, we're just going have to go with this one gang it might not be as smooth and as fluid as some of the others but i hope we have a good time along the way so we are in 2024 as i say marbella are expected to finish six has alejandro been capped by spain he has five goals in 13 appearances which is actually not the best return but he is up front pedri asensio fatty and behind coke and rodri holding it's a bloody good team isn't it anyway but before we do that if you could subscribe to the channel i'd be much appreciative of it and yeah you'll find a lot more stuff like this and loads of other experiments on the channel as well as a lot of new stuff coming that is going to be coming three times a week 
as per the schedule so yeah subscribe stay in touch and put the bell on and yeah watch the videos when they go live get me some one out of tens okay so we did play in the spanish federation uh, 1b and it's not ticked over yet 30 in 34 15 assists 14 play with the matches and marbella got promoted marbella got promoted by beating Real Madrid B as a higher seed. They finished higher in the league, so a draw did not go to penalties. They just they got promoted. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm confused as to what's just happened there. Um, how we got promoted, I'm not quite sure because there's two promotional playoff finals, uh, Lugo and Maha, Ma, Maja, Maja, da, Maja da Honda. Where are they? Spanish Federation. Yes, yes, Lugo beat Maja, Maja da Honda. Barcelona B also went up in some sort of playoff win, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so what, are we going up to the Spanish second division? Are we? Ford getting relegated, four going up. I think that's going to be the case. So, yeah. And of course, as you can see, Jimenez topping the charts, getting a 7.69. 30 goals and 15 assists. He was the top goal scorer by a long way. And that's that's the only trophy that he's won. And that's 12 in 23 for Spain as well. And in the Euros last summer, unfortunately, they got knocked out by Slovenia. 2-0 in the second round. Benjamin Sesko, your best friend and mine, with the opening goal. And David Tajanic, Tajanic, however you pronounce it, with the second, knocking Spain out. In an upset, you'd have to admit. Disappointing for them. They are currently eighth in the world. They were seventh, so they have slipped. The vice captain is Jimenez, and he is also the key player. Alvaro Morata is uh, the captain and not playing. He is on the bench. So work that one out. So yeah, they're about to go up. So let's go to 2026 and see what happens happens there this might be the time that we start to get a little bit all over the place with uh, what's happening with his wages etc what's what is his wages on set not ticked over fine hasn't ticked over i'll allow it less than a million pound in the hole and they're making profits okay so so alejandro him has got a 7.91 and nine assists but he didn't get in the top goal scorer charts and they got relegated he got relegated on 38 points now what happened there then he's on 825 pound a week he played 16 times 16 goals nine assists nine player with the matches now why did he only play that many times he didn't have any uh in injuries he had a couple of knocks but that's it he's still playing for spain so yeah his wages are a big issue here so yeah unfortunately this is going to be part of the video that's going to be a little bit all over the shop so we will jump through to 2027 very quickly because he will play that and hopefully get promoted there we go up as champions 31 goals 14 assists for jimenez 30 in 47 for spain so in 2026 did spain win the euros it was the world cup and no they did not they got knocked out on penalties by argentina and it was Jimenez that missed. Oh dear. Could not handle the big occasion. They absolutely dominated the group though. Jimenez scoring five, six goals. And he scored one there, seven. So in the World Cup, did he who won the golden boot? Marcus Rashford got seven. Oh, that's best player. Victor Osman with eight. Rashford with seven. Jimenez third on seven with considerably less games. It was France that won it against Portugal in the final. Well, there we go. Uh, so Jimenez is now on £725 a week. He's had a wage drop. I didn't put a wage drop in, did I? He must have inserted that in. Oh my god. This is just going to go from bad to worse. It does balance itself out. So fear not. Like, when it's not a waste of time. We're going to rattle through this now. Quickly look in 2028. If you get relegated again, we're going to go 29 30. Rapid. Yeah, relegated again on 33 points. Again, he's not really played much. Where is he? He's the captain. He's the captain. £850 a week. Five games, five assists. Rubbish. We're going to go two years because he's going to come straight back up. So 2030. I couldn't have his wage jumping too much every season because it would have crippled him in the latter stages of the experiment. And I couldn't have him on too high a wage to begin with because, again, it would have crippled the club financially when they're in the lower league. So I was sort of stuck in between a rock and a hard place. I did find a happy balance. However relegated again uh 35 and 35 there and he got three in four this most recent season he's on 1.1k a week so i think he's about to start jumping up the wages hopefully we'll see 71 in 86 for spain absolute scenes and they're currently in the quarter final of the world cup wow look at that an 11 win against cuba where he scored five he scored a hat trick against paraguay he scored two against ivory coast one against denmark and against cameroon oh he didn't got on the score sheet lamina marl Bloody hell. Got Spain at him. Barcelona B. Oh, he's in, sorry. Bar last club, Barcelona B. He's wanted by PSG. Of course he is. Of course he's Still need to sort of face pack out. Well, look at that. Only won the Euros in 2028, didn't he? Um, drew in the group against England. Beat Poland. Drew against Ukraine. 
No goal in the group stage for Jimenez. It's Italy, he popped up with a goal and scored his penalty in a penalty, win penalty winning shootout. A 1-0 win against France after being down to 10 men for most of the game thanks to Laminia Marles' red card. And then a 5-3 against Norway. A hat-trick for Jimenez. He turned up to the tournament. Erling Haaland on the losing side there in the semis. And then for some, some reason, somehow Turkey got to the final. And yeah, two for Jimenez, two for Yamal, Pedri and Rodri. So Spain absolutely dominated in the latter stages of that tournament. Jimenez did finish with the golden boot on six. Benjamin Sesko on four. Not a high goal scoring tournament then, to be fair, because Mbappe in 2024 got 11. There you go. So again, he's been relegated, which is really disappointing, isn't it? What did the season preview say? The season preview thought they're going to finish 14th and that's, how is Jimenez not in the medium 11? How good is he? He's, he's, I don't get why he can't play. What, 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 why, do, why isn't he playing? Right, let me know in the comments down below why he's not playing. Is it something to do with he has to be on a certain wage? Oh, here we go. Wage rules. £1,300 per week minimum wage for registered players what's he on 1100 hopefully by the time we come back up in two years he'll be over that he doesn't have another wage drop 15 percent two times sorted right on we move 2032 let's go that 1300 pound a week to be honest it's ridiculous because there he is 1500 pound a week but i started him on about a grand i think i actually started him on 1500 i worked it out in excel did a formula trip worked out what he should be on and what he's going to get to at the end probably about 100 and 120 thousand pounds a week which is going to be a very fair wage for someone who's world class anyway oh uh, yeah here we go then 32 and 33 and 32 sorry in the spanish federation 1b and in the second division 41 in 38 in a season where they finished second and got promoted please don't tell me there's some minimum requirements for la, la liga oh my god 2600 pounds he's got a top promotion top division promotional wage rise of 25 percent which is a quarter so about 375 pounds to 1800 plus a promotion wage rise of 50 percent why is he not getting that promotion wage rise surely that should kick in for the top division maybe plus the 15 percent i mean that's 90 percent increase if you did a hundred percent increase you'd be over two thousand five hundred pounds hopefully hopefully he gets it um but finally he's had one season where he's played and he's been the top of or well, nearly all the charts oscar oscar Lorca was the top of the assists but of course player of the top goal scorer was alejandro jimenez 41 in 38 top spanish goalkeeper second division manager of the month yeah so only player of the month there's no player of the year in seri it's in the segunda as it's spanish second division uh, so Jimenez is on 109 caps, 79 goals. Well, they, we did see them last time. Hang about. First off, they're in the semis of the Euros. But last time they were in the World Cup quarters. Yep. And they lost to Germany. Nico Schlotterback. So in this World Cup, I'm, I'd be astounded if he didn't win the Golden Boot. And there, and, and there I am astounded. Look at that. Alexander Isaac, 12 in five games. And Simone Parfundi, 11 in eight. So we're going to have to go have a look at bloody Sweden here. What the hell? Uh, Victor Gurakwe, so Isaac got one there, two there in a win against USA against Mali in a five-one win. He got another. He got a, just got one against China. He got one, two, three, four, five, and then against Colombia he got one, two, three, four. Knocked out in the round of sixteen, he scored twelve goals. That's bloody impressive, isn't it? But anyway, they're up going into the first division of Spain. Can will he play? Can he stay up there? Twenty thirty three. So first season in the top division of Spain. Did he play? No. But how can he play four times? That's what I want to know. He's on two thousand two hundred pounds a week. How can he physically play four times? This promotional wage rise of fifty percent is not worth the paper it's written on because it's not happening, is it? So the yearly wage rise of fifteen percent. So we're going to talk fifteen percent. So he's going to go up to 10% 200 quid 2400 come up again 2600 so by the time he's back in the top division of Spain he should in theory um be able to play if they got relegated which they bloody have of course they have why would they not have been relegated in terms of the top division of Spain it's been Barcelona and Real Madrid ever since uh, the start and we're 10 years into the experiment now and we're not managing to make a dent because of the weird squiffy rules in Spain we could start this again and start him on about two and a half grand maybe that wouldn't cripple the club financially but I don't know we're committed to this one now and I think it shows it's, it's kind of interesting to show how, how can Marbella do in the last 20 years can they do anything that'd be interesting to be perfectly honest i'd be very interested to see if they can they've got 32 bloody million pounds this squad i mean it's not good enough for the top division of spain but it's certainly good enough for the second division all these players are wanted they're unhappy due to the club being relegated stay stay now john martin you haven't got to go. john martin spain john martin he's a real person as well he's not even a regen 
Not the uh, most Spanish of names, is it? John Martin. Anyway, 2034, they're going, to be, they're going to be down in the second division. I think they're going to come straight back up because he can be playing. Uh, so quick, let's quickly just go through to 2034. I think they're going to come straight back up, but we'll just double check it. We'll check in. Just want to see if that actually happens. If they did go up, but do you know what? Only by three points and promoted. Not as champions. 40, 40 goals in 42 appearances. Well, 40 goals in 40 appearances for him. And there's 22 assists, 19 player with the matches. I mean, just need, need we say more? Absolutely phenomenal. 112 and 132 for Spain. And currently in the round of 16, he's probably knocking him in for fun. Scoring a hat-trick against Switzerland. He got four against Canada. He got four against Paraguay. And he scored against Ghana as well. There you go. In 2032, they did win the Euros. That's back-to-back -back Euros for Spain. So where were we last time? Did they... We've just seen them beat Denmark, haven't we? Then they beat Germany in the quarters. Uh, in the semis, they beat the, Nether beat the Netherlands. Beat Netherlands 2-0. Alejandro Jimenez with the opener. Ansu Fati sealing it later on. And a penalty win. Um, an extra time equaliser for Javi Guerra after Marcus Rashford put England ahead in extra time. And Alejandro Jimenez did miss his penalty. But also... So did Jude Bellingham and then Phil Foden missed which allowed Nico the opportunity to win it for Spain. That's back-to-back -back Euros for Spain. The best player was Jimenez, and the Golden Boot was won by, well, Lamine Yamal. Only four goals for Jimenez through the whole tournament, which is surprising, to be honest, although Lamine Yamal must have played up front a bit more. Anyway, so anyway, 2035, let's see how they got on back in the top division of Spain. Right, they finished seventh. Europa League places, 29 goals for Jimenez. So he's played 38 games. He's got enough wages, £4,200 a week. The 50% promotional wage rise has happened then. I don't get why that's happened all of a sudden. But it has 120, 146 for Spain. So again, as we let's have a quick look at the Spanish first division. Where did the media think they were going to finish? The media thought they were going to finish dead bottom. They finished seventh. Of course, the awards for player of the year, well, Jude Bellingham actually won it. It was Laminia Marlin in second and Samuel Illing in third. Top goal scorer was Alejandro Jimenez on 29. Walter Vivas had three in a row for Barcelona, the Argentine and well. He was signed for £14.25 million. He is 197 currentability. What a player he is. I mean, look at his attributes. Unbelievable. But Marbella, well, if you look at all these trophies they've won. Relegated back up, relegated back up. £52 million in the bank. The squad is improving. They've got some half decent players and I'd like to think quite a few of these players would like to stay. He wants a new contract. Carlos Castillo. Well, he's not that good. Get rid. Get rid of him. Right. Anyway, let's move to 2036 and see if they can improve on that seventh place finish they can't they finish 12th 30 goals for Jimenez again really Barge playing for Real Madrid not actually that good is he doesn't look that great it looks, actually looks all right look at that Alejandro he, uh, Jimenez 30 and 36 and he's 31 years old 121 goals for Spain uh, Mikel Arteta's in charge of Spain now uh, and they, they lost in the semi-final of the World Cup and they won the third place playoff against Croatia in a tournament where he got 16 goals and an 8.99 average rating. That's impressive, isn't it? Very, very good. Best player, of course. Golden Boot, of course. Emmanuel Emega got 10 in 7. He's playing for Juventus. And look at that. Past winners for the World Cup. Back-to-back -back wins for the Netherlands, beating, beating Belgium on penalties there. So Marbella knocked out of the Euro Europa League by Rapid Vienna. Loads of defeats in the league here. Spanish Cup quarter final losing to Atletico Pamplona and the media they're going to be any better they thought they were going to finish 18th so they finished better than the media predicted but that's just because of uh, Jimenez and um, they're not spending tons of money and they spent 16 million pounds didn't, didn't spend didn't too badly in terms of spending to be fair they just got 66 million pounds in the bank plenty in the budget anyway um so let's move to 2037 and see if they can get back into the european places they did europa league football once again in sixth this time and again him and his 38 goals in how many games 37 absolutely monstrous as a return. Uh, Mikel Arteta is now no longer the manager of Spain. Lost in the semis to Belgium of the Euros, unfortunately. Portugal eventual winners. They couldn't make it three in a row. And... In terms of Marbella, I mean, Danny Vidal is still in charge. Loving life. Uh, they've got some players. They've got some more potential. They are spending a little bit of money. Not tons. Are they being shrewd? They've brought another Jimenez. Nowhere near as good as our Jimenez. But, and a different spelling. But still, a Jimenez nonetheless. Oh, a bid for Jude Bellingham. He's off to Saudi. £47.5 million at 34 years old. I mean, still phenomenal, to be honest. I have to say £47.5 million. Would I pay that? Probably. Would I accept that for him? Probably not. 
I want to, I'd want to keep him. Love Jude Bellingham. Uh, five in a row for Barcelona as well at the top of the pile, interestingly. Uh, knocked out in the fourth round of the Cup to Valencia. And of course, as I say, no European football. We're in 2037 now, so we're going to jump forward. I'm going to do one more jump of a singular year and then it's 15 years until the end and it'll be five year jumps as we like to do at sort of this point I think we normally do the five year jumps from one step earlier but because it took us so long we had so much effing around in the middle we've done it a little bit differently this time but hopefully now we're on the straight and narrow old Jimenez is here he's on oh he's on 5k a week he's absolutely raking in making it rain his old Jimenez loving life right 2038 oh 8th and conference league football then we did have won the league 23 only 23 for Jimenez this season why 35 games 23 goals what happened there then not even like he had an injury that's disappointing they've even got some better players they're starting to make moves 15 million pounds spent they're in the conference league are they actually going to do anything in the conference league that's going to be interesting they got to oh wow oh they lost in the final of the Europa League to Arsenal 2 0 down inside nine minutes. Jimenez with the goal back, but look at that. They actually got all the way through to the Europa League. And I wonder, is was that too much for him? Because he got 23 and 32 in the league, three off the bench. He got 11, he got seven in, I don't know, Continental 16 in 16. Yeah, so he was absolutely playing nearly every minute of the Continental competition and guiding him to the final. And I would have thought if you, if you're playing in on Thursday nights or whatever it is, every single week, unfortunately, he's probably. Probably not fit enough to play a full 90 at the weekend. So he's probably coming off early and then Marbella are probably doing a little bit worse. But they did all right. They finished eighth. And that's Conference League football, apparently. I mean, he says it. So I've got no reason to believe that they're not. They've got, th they're down in third, the Spanish League's a competition reputation. Let that be known. So anyway, we are going to go through five more years now, as mentioned a minute or two ago. So 2043, here we come. Can we win some trophies on the way? And can we get into the Champions League? Right, so we got in the Conference League. Then the following season, it was Conference League football again in eighth. We didn't win the Conference League that season that's disappointing then the following season we finished eighth again didn't get you any european football whatsoever so we didn't win the conference league again then finally finishing in seventh getting europa league football this is dismal then 11th and then now most recently ninth that's crap isn't it eduardo barocca is uh, is, uh, is in charge you but on a really good day eh, eduardo now in terms of the squad they are improving as a squad and Alejandro Jimenez. I mean, he's absolutely dominating all, all over the place. He's scoring. He's, has he won the Golden Boot every single year? Yeah, he has. Every year he's been in there, he's won the Golden Boot. Even when he only got 23, he beat Dylan Alomia, who had 22. Who's not a bad player on 7-7. Not bad. Right, so anyway, we are here with Marbella. The media at this juncture, he thought they were going to finish 6th. So that's actually a disappointing finish, finishing in ninth. No trophies, European or domestically. So no trophies whatsoever and no Champions League qualification. Surely, surely they're going to have to get to the Champions League at some point. They've got £112 million in the bank, a budget of £33.5 million. They've got a great stadium here, built in 2034, a 30,000 capacity stadium, the Marbella Stadium. I don't know why they've not called it the Alejandro Jimenez Stadium, because he is, well, there's no club legends. He's just an icon and surely going to be more than an icon going forward. Has he retired from international football? He did in 2042. Too, so just just retired from international football 194 goals in 213 appearances Unai Emery's in charge oh where were we so yeah we've lost in the semis to Belgium and then the World Cup they won the World Cup they won the World Cup a hat trick in the final for Alejandro Jimenez well he's not done much domestically but he's certainly made up for that internationally Spain have won a plethora of tournaments then they lost in the final to Germany and and then lost in the final to Portugal on penalties Jimenez had come off by that point but Spain had won a World Cup and he got the golden boot three tournaments in a row unbelievable stuff well he's now been he's now been retrained as number 10 as well but it is disappointing it's very disappointing isn't it that he's not done more in terms of his domestic career but we do have 10 years left so can can they penetrate that top four and and sneak a trophy in some capacity let's go to 2048 yeah we were last here they were ninth and then the uh, ninth again then sixth getting europa league football and conversing football finishing in eighth <sighs> finally bit of champions league football in the 46 47 season 80 76 points finishing in fourth then europa league football the following season finishing in sixth and that's the most recent season so kefran taram is in charge speaking of managers robbie Keane's been here for a year and i hate to say it ladies and gentlemen i've forgot to do a ralph watch i've just finished work to be honest and i've just come straight to record 
Uh, it's been a long day. And yeah, I forgot to do a Ralph watch. So for all you Ralph fans, apologies. I mean, we'll check. He'll be gone. Yeah, he's gone. What are you going to do? Kefren Taram is the current manager who is average as a manager, to be honest. 129 ability. He has been the manager of Valle Valladolid uh, in the Inter under 20s. He spent a couple of years at Real Madrid. He spent a long time at PSG. He went to Chelsea for £71 million and then moved to PSG for £45 million. I can't believe Chelsea didn't want to keep him. Like, what? That's just insane. Anyway, anyway, Marbella, sixth. Season preview, seventh. Jimenez, still top scoring. Yeah, yeah, he's scored 674 in his league career and he's had a few seasons where he's not played. So it all comes down to this then, the last five years of the experiment. They have won a conference league. I'm sorry, hold the phone. They won the conference league two years ago against Lille in the final last season, a 3-0 win and Jimenez got two. Of course he did, ladies and gentlemen. Right, so they've won a trophy at the very least. Spanish Cup semi-final. They got locked out by Real Madrid. Runner-up to Real Madrid in the most recent season. Real Madrid, oh my God, Real Madrid lost in the final five times in a row. That's unfortunate for them, isn't it? He's brave, he's down at 19. He's a born leader and he's a legendary striker. He's got five solitary years left, this experiment. Is he a legend for Marbella yet? Nobody's a legend. He's an icon, surely. He will get himself there. Can he do it? They've got £165 million in the bank. Their squad is getting so much better. George Crespo here, coming through the youth team, got some fantastic facilities. So I've set them up brilliantly. Marbella are going to be in the top league of Spain. And when we do Sim Ford when he's gone, I'm sure they're going to stay there because they've got the foundations. They've not overspent. They've done very, very well. But have they spent enough to stay in the league without a superstar like that? 24-8, we're here. We're going to go to 2053, and it'll be the last stop before he leaves. So yeah, 47 48 was Europa League football in sixth and then following season again in sixth Europa League football we are up in fourth again with some Champions League football but again it's not enough fourth fourth again it's just oh I mean look I mean 1998 here and then we're back on 73 it's not even a case of we're close and it's a couple of victories here and there we are five or six wins away I mean look 21 wins to the 28 of the top three Barca, Atletico and Real Madrid are the three teams and the final season we finished fifth we did get Champions League football because like, somebody's won the Champions League well we've We've, we've won a Spanish Cup. Kefren Taram's still there, so he's been there a while. Oh, we've just, it's this season. Oh my God, look at that. Three runners up in the Spanish Cup, twice to Remedy and once to Barcelona. And in this most recent season, we have won the Spanish Cup. That's that's nice, winning 1 0. And of course, it was Alejandro Jimenez who got the goal. He got 817 league goals in 949 league games, 294 assists and 294 player of the matches. How satisfying is that? A 7.56 overall for his career. I've had to move to the other side so you guys can see. But there his there is his glittering career. In terms of Spain, the awards he won. The Golden Boot nearly every year, apart from Coldo Munoz, got it for a couple of years in 2045 and 2046. And yeah, he got 29 both seasons. And to be fair, that kind of tally was going to beat Alejandro Jimenez quite a few times. Jimenez did get that himself on occasion and did break the 30 barrier. But on the whole, he won it so many times. He is, of course, going to be a La Liga legend in terms of records, the most goals lowest attendance was Marbella v Alaves who got the most who's got the most goals anyway yeah, I can't see the most goals scored in La Liga but yeah they haven't won La Liga they've won they won the Spanish Cup and as I say Kefren Turam is still in charge he's been there seven years uh, the Champions League it was won by Liverpool actually Atletico Madrid coming in second. And they've won it a few times. I mean, Josh Sargent is the manager of Atletico Madrid. He's been there for 10 years nearly. Josh Sargent has been the manager of Atletico Madrid for 10 years. That is not a sentence I thought I'd say. And I don't think you guys would... Uh, we're expecting that either right anyway Jimenez is going to Saudi Arabia where are Marbella they are in the Champions League they finish fifth the media think they're going to finish in fifth but their best player is about to leave in terms of Marbella they've got 305 million pounds in the bank 146 million pound budget and a decent looking squad I'm going to tell you now, I don't think Kefren Turam is the man to lead them forward. I don't. Sorry, Kefren. His current ability and potential ability is at 129 for a manager. You need a better manager. I think this season, if he doesn't spend all that money and he's going to get some money for him as leaving, he'll get sacked. They'll get someone else in and they might build the club. We're going to simulate through to somewhere. Let's go. See what happens. We're coming forward 16 years to 2069 because that's just where I managed to get to. And in terms of the Spanish first division, well, Marbella are fourth in the most recent season. We've had no no more trophies domestic league so they finished second last season and a few seasons ago they, they managed to maintain themselves finishing fifth the season after he left 
and then seventh, and that's the lowest he finished, equaling with 2061-62. But every other season, it's been third, three fifths in a row, a sixth, a fifth. They've basically been fourth, fifth, and sixth as the most common finishers in the league. The Spanish Cup, they got run up to Real Madrid again in the 2059-60 season, unfortunately. In terms of Conference League, they haven't got to the final again. But well, they've not been in it, I don't think. They've got to the Europa League final Oh, they, we missed that. Losing to Juventus in the 49-50 season and again in the 55-56 season to Roma. Ever got anywhere near the Champions League? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it at all. How long did it take Kefren Turam to get sacked? He actually stayed till 2059. So he was there for nearly 15, over just over 14 years, which is phenomenal. And they've got Emilio Pellegrin, who's been there for seven years now. So they like a long-term manager. They really do. I mean, Kevin Turam's the manager of England. He went to, he was in Marbella for nearly 15 years. And now he's the manager of England. Has been for a couple of years. Um, I mean, who else has been in charge? Rafa Benitez, Graham Potter, Sean Dyche, uh, Javi Alonso, Eddie Howe, Wayne Rooney. M.A. Belazoglu, Thiago Motta, Vinny Comp, Oscar Pablo Alvarez, and Kefren Turan most recently. Germany won the last three World Cups. Spain have come up, Spain have come runners up quite a few times. But in terms of uh, trophies, uh, Marbella haven't won anything since he left. I think they've won another Spanish Super Cup, actually, most recently. Yeah, beating Sevilla. Come run up a couple of times, but uh, just once, actually. But yeah, so there we go. So they don't win anything, and Jimenez didn't win anything for Marbella, really, other than the Conference League and one Spanish Cup. Did win a hell of a lot for Spain, though, and had a hell of a career. So I'm sure you can agree it was a relative success. And maybe if we managed to fix the issue with the wages... The game glitched out a couple of times and yeah, I could go back and sort of try and manipulate and fix it. But do you know what? I like the fact this had a bit of a different feel to some of the other ones. Um, we had a little bit of a turmoil in the middle. So, you know, followed a bit of a different narrative. If you liked it, you liked it. If you didn't, you didn't. I apologise about that. But I hope you had a good time regardless. Thank you very much for watching. Do drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you thought, anything I might have missed or any ideas for future experiments or recommend your nation that you want me to do this for. I think up next, we're going Portugal, but we've also got a few other suggestions of things like Netherlands, Belgium, etc. So we'll see, but take good care of yourselves, gang, and I'll see you soon.